Hi guys. So this is Holly. I'm here with Mr. Kai today. It is Wednesday about 12.15. And uh, so I thought I'd come on. I'm trying to be very diligent about um, making videos so that you I'd guys come on. And um, Mr. Kai here. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Empty Circles? Hi. Mr. Kai here um, wanted to twin up with his brother in England. So um, Joseph is wearing uh, this cute little yellow onesie with the turtle on it, the bubbles and the palm tree, and it's got navy blue uh, stripes on the sleeves. And uh, so Joseph is wearing that, and Kai oh, wore it too. Where's Kai? Peekaboo, there he is. Hi, buddy. So, yeah, we wanted to do uh, dress up like Joseph. And then I'm sure that afterwards he's going to be wanting to call him on the phone if it's not too late in England. So, anyway, I thought I'd come and uh, tell y'all how much fun I had doing the, um, the giveaway. That was my first one, and uh, it was really a lot of fun to do. It was a lot more involved than I anticipated, but um, I learned a lot. I learned what you guys like to see and what you want to see. Um, I've got a few challenges I need to um, <laughs> meet, and um, yeah, it was just a, it was a wonderful thing. Uh, congratulations to Kimmy uh, of Kim Philpin for winning the giveaway, and. Um, yeah, so um, I think I'm going to be doing some more of those. Uh, I kind of like that. Uh, so anyway, um, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know it's already the middle of the next week, so um, you know what? I, and I'm so far behind, guys. I have just been gone, gone, gone every, every day. All weekend, we went to see um, Deadpool on Saturday. Deadpool 2, which uh, was a very funny movie, <laughs> um, very crude, but, you know, that's the way Deadpool is, um, and uh, then Saturday I had um, to go play music at a, a, an Emmaus gathering, <sighs> of course Sunday is, you know, Sunday's always full, uh, Sunday, Mother's Day? I don't know. It's been, I mean, it's just been crazy. Maybe it was. And if it was, my daughter got me a, uh, not got me, but she made me this beautiful afghan. I think I've told y'all about that. I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, and then choir practice. It's just been really busy. Um, Thursday, Friday, Monday. Uh, I had doctor's appointments and tests to be done, uh, eye exams, so I've been getting up early every morning, which, earlier than usual, there you go, Mr. Kai, there we go, and, um, yeah, getting all of that done, and, um, oh gosh, what all is going on? All of that, um, I've got auditions coming up for a play this fall, I've got, uh, I'm teaching Vacation Bible School music this year, so I've got to be working on that. But I wanted to do um, a couple of shout-outs today. One of them is for Yvonne for having you on. Um, you know, that girl, uh, she works every week, every week to uh, come up with a theme Thursday for all of us. And I tell you, my hat goes off to her because not only does she come up with the theme and then dresses her babies for the theme, but she watches all our videos. Oh my gosh, guys, I stay so behind in watching videos. I, I don't know how she does it. And not only does she watch them, but she comments on them on every single thing you do in her video. And it just it blows my mind. Just blows my mind. So, uh... Yeah, hats off to Yvonne uh, and for having you on for, for continuing to, to do Theme Thursdays for us. And the reason I like doing them is because 
I think it draws us all together. We all have a common purpose and a common goal. And we get to see each other's babies and see each other's, you know, their clothes and, and just, you know, get a chance to catch up with one another. And um, I know I get behind, guys, but I do, there, there are a couple of days when I can finally catch up. Uh, a lot of times, and y'all are going to think this is really weird, but a lot of times I watch videos while I'm taking a bath um, or at night before I go to bed or if I'm putting on my makeup and it's a, a, a particularly long video where, you know, you're just staring at the baby the whole time like y'all happen to be doing Mr. Kai right now. <laughs> Um, that's when I can listen to videos and uh, watch videos so um, things have been so crazy and hectic guys but I will be watching I do watch some uh, here and there and uh, I always try to comment because you know people go to all the trouble to make the videos and uh, I think they they deserve to be commented on um, so yeah thank you Yvonne hats off to you keep up the good work I love theme Thursday and I love you for doing it thank you so much there you go so uh, another shout out I want to do is for um, Suzanne of Baby Bunting Nursery she's in Australia and I'm just so happy to see her back home from the hospital after her horrific accident car accident and uh, she's knitting and healing well and even making videos again uh, Suzanne, we missed you terribly. So glad you're back. Round of applause. Yay. <laughs> Good to see Lottie and Pip and Jaunty again, too. Um, <clears throat> and then I was going to do for y'all a, uh, a Mother's Day tag. And the Mother's Day tag is from Shannon from Love Me Some Reborn Babies. And it was supposed to be for Mother's Day, which is past now. And also to be entered into a giveaway. Well, the giveaway's over. Mother's Day is over. But better late than never, right? So um, I decided to come on and do this. And I don't, uh, like Shannon, I don't know where it originated from. But uh, I thought it was sort of a sweet tag. And since I don't have my mother here on this earth anymore, um, I just thought I'd do it. I'd still like to do it. Okay? So the Mother's Day tag, uh, several questions, and I'll try to make them quick so y'all don't have to sit here and listen to me talk all, all day. Um, number one, using one word, what is the one word that um, my mother would describe me as a child? Okay, so one thing I know my mother always told me, and that this is straight from my mom's mouth, guys, it's not me. She always said I was an angel sent from God. Um, she told me that over and over and over again. My mother had a hard life. Um, we didn't have a lot growing up. She was married and divorced three times. And so I took up a lot of the weight of um, her duties at home because she had to work. Some, there was times she was working two jobs. And so, you know, would rarely see her. So it fell to me to take care of my siblings and the housework, the laundry, and cooking and all that kind of stuff so um, she always said that I was her angel sent from God um, number two were you a mama's girl or a daddy's girl um, I guess you would say I was a mama's girl because I didn't have a daddy um, my parents were divorced when I was two so um, I mean I had a couple of stepfathers after that but um, yeah I was a mama's girl Alright, number three, what is your favorite mom hack that you learned from your mom? Okay, this I learned this from my mother. I used to, I love babies so much um, that I, my first babysitting job, I was only eight years old. But because I was so responsible, you know, taking care of my siblings and stuff like that, and I guess they trusted me. Anyway, um, for infants, and actually it works on up too, you just have to increase the amount. My mother taught me you know, when an infant has the hiccups, if you put a little sugar on their tongue, that it takes hiccups away. And by golly, it does. I've had three kids, uh, six grandchildren, and yes, it works. And it'll work on older kids too and adults. You just have to increase the amount of sugar. Instead of just putting a little bit on their tongue, you like take a teaspoon of it. So sugar to cure hiccups in infants. Number four, 
Does your mom know about your YouTube channel? And if so, does she watch it? No, my mother is gone. Uh, she died in 1997. So, um... Well, she probably knows about it. <laughs> she probably watches me make it. But no, she's not here, so she doesn't. Okay, number five. What is a phrase or saying that your mom always says or said? Um, if I heard it once, I heard it a million times, and I even have adopted it myself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Number six. Are you named after someone special, or how did your mom and dad come up with your name? Well, my mother told my dad he could pick my first name, and she picked my middle name. He chose the name Holly. My mother chose the name Diane. Um, and she had all intentions of calling me Diane because she originally didn't like the name Holly. Uh, but she said the moment she held me in her arms, she looked at my face and she said, You are Holly. And she said, And I absolutely love the name. So, yeah. Um... Number seven, what is something you and your mom always love to do together? Well, something that my mom and I did was laugh. We had loved to have fun together. She loved the beach, and we would, you know, occasionally get to go to the beach, and uh, she would stay in that water, and so would I, from the time we got there to the time we got out. And uh, I think I, I got my mother's sense of humor um, and a little bit of the devilment in her with... Um, or as some of you would say cheekiness and um, trickery. So, yeah, we just like to laugh, laugh and have fun. Number eight, what is one of your favorite childhood memories of you and your mom? Uh, the, when I read that question, the first thing that popped into my head was I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia, and there was a store downtown. It was, you know, a high-rise building, and there was a store down there called Rich's. And uh, I can remember going Christmas shopping at Rich's in downtown Atlanta. And my mother, I got to shop for all the family by myself in the little Santa's workshop. Parents weren't allowed to go in. She gave me money, and I went in and chose all the gifts. And then she let me ride the pink pig. And what the pink pig was was a little, uh, you know, like a train ride, only it was a, uh, in the shape of a pig, and it was suspended from the rails. And you rode around the top of the Riches apartment store, and you got to see the big, huge Riches tree, um, which you could see from all over Atlanta. And uh, Santa's reindeer up there, and just all the Christmas decorations and stuff like that. And then, before the day was over, she, even though it was close to Christmas, she bought me a Madame Alexander doll. So, yeah, that was, that was a fun, fun experience. That's a memory I, I remember and treasure. Okay, number nine, did your mom wear a special perfume or fragrance that to this day, when you smell it, you think of her? Um, well, actually, she wore two fragrances that I, I don't think are in production anymore. Um, one is called Midnight in Paris, and it came in a dark, dark navy blue bottle. Um, and they are copies of it. I've smelled it, you know... Well, I wouldn't say recently, but in the you know, past 20 years or so. And then white gardenia. And even if I smell gardenias now, um, I think of her. Number 10, what is your favorite dish your mom used to make when you were a child? Okay, um, she made the best spaghetti and spaghetti sauce in the world. But the two things that I remember having, and we only had them a few times a year... Um, was uh, dried corn and potato filling. And both of those are Pennsylvania Dutch dinners because, or dishes, because um, my mother was born and raised in Pennsylvania. And we lived in Pennsylvania for a while, so they're Pennsylvania Dutch dishes. And I love the dried corn and potato filling. And now that she is no longer here, we no longer have those. So I miss that. Number 11, bonus question. If money were no issue and you could buy or give your mother anything in the world to show her love and appreciation on Mother's Day this year, what would your gift to her be? Well, my mother's no longer here, and money means nothing to her at this point. Um, but what I would like to do, I'd like to thank her for loving me 
for believing in me and for doing the best she could and the best she knew how and helping to shape me into the person I am today. So yeah, okay, so some of the things that y'all said that you wanted to see on my channel was um, revealing more about myself. So I thought this um, this little tag would do that. So thank you, Shannon. Um, I'm sorry I missed your giveaway, but I wanted to do your tag anyway. Um, so yeah, and if y'all haven't <clears throat> uh, been over to Shannon's channel, she is uh, Love Me Some Reborn Babies, and She's got beautiful babies. She's a beautiful lady. So, yeah, y'all go see her, too. And thank you again for doing that. Thank you guys for listening. Bye from Kai. We love you guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.